interesting. Yeah, what an episode. Yeah, at least okay. we got we, we got more of a backstory of uh, Echo. Yeah, it's a yeah, lot shorter Echo. episode as well. So that's the name of the episode. Yeah, because it also echoes <laughs> uh, clean clean buttons on like hearing, hearing conditions. Issues, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he needs a hearing aid to hear properly now, since all the damage from all of the explosions caused him. Yeah. Yes. Hearing damage. Yeah, he um, he doesn't know sign language. Does he? Not very well, anyway. Um, well, well, effectively, his character doesn't really need to. Mm. Like he's relying on the hearing aid. <laughs> yeah, because he just needs a hearing aid. But interestingly enough, he actually did learn some American Sign Language in real life. Yeah, so Jeremy Renner learned basic ASL to welcome the actor. Yeah, well, <laughs> Lacquer Cox, who is... <laughs> a real deaf person and is also an amputee. Yeah, are you talking about this El- Elacqua yeah. Cox? Yeah. The actual, the actual actress. Yeah. The uh, actual yeah, actress yeah. is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And considering that she's going to have her own show, it's her first time in the spotlight. And mm. she already has a big part in Hawkeye and oh, is yeah. going to lead her own show, Echo. Echo, yeah. You mean the grown-up girl or the baby girl? No, this one. The, this, yeah, the, the grown-up. Grown yeah, the grown-up. Eloqua Cox. Yeah. So she said that uh, her castmates uh, signed compliments to her when she uh, got on the show. Oh, that's nice that they learned a bit of, you know, sign language. Yeah, yes, it was such an honor to work yeah. with them both. Like yeah. Jeremy Renner did it. Haley also spelled out her name to me in ASL. Hmm. Uh, it means a lot to me as a deaf person. Yep. Yeah. If you remember, oh, I actually shouldn't talk about internals because there was also a <laughs> um, someone who's deaf in, in oh, that show. Actress? Uh, but, I'm not, but I'm not sure if the actress was, was in real deaf well. in real life, though. But she, she was actually deaf in real life as well. Yeah, yeah then they got two. I think it deaf was. Yeah, I think she life, is. She, she's <laughs> actually <laughs> from the Walking Dead. Uh, the Curry. The actress, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. yeah, so that's actually cool that they're actually bringing in disabled people in some way to the MCU and be- become like main actors as well. It's all part of the whole diversity thing too, right? Like um, getting getting all pe- actors from different backgrounds, right? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, from what I heard about uh, the the casting for Echo. She mm-hmm. didn't know that she was casting for Echo at all. Oh, okay. All right. But, so... but as well, she was an amputee, but the actual Echo in the comics wasn't. So they kind of created the character oh, around right. the, the, the like, actor yeah. afterwards okay. as well. So they kind of made it work because now in the MCU, the, act, the Echo is an amputee and she really is one. Yeah, well, she, that's why the Echo actor praises Marvel's efforts to increase diversity. So, as you say, right, she's deaf and also made, uh, yeah, MQT as well. So, they, they made that part of her story. Yeah, yeah. The show as well. Yeah, the actor's real life disability into the character. Is it? Who places these arrows? The arrow? I heard arrow. Mm. Oh, the purple oh, arrow. The arrow. Purple arrow. Mm. It's not really stuff I just blow. Yeah, you can't really hear that too well. Yeah. Unfortunately. Maybe it's the mask. We can't hear you that well. Yes, got an unlimited supply. Where does these arrows from? Where the air? Where the, are the arrows? Yeah, where from? did the arrows come from? Right, oh, <laughs> so the, many the arrows. You mean yeah. Hawkeye's arrows? Right, yeah. 
Uh, yes, he, yeah. he brought them. The pim arrow is the yeah, he brought them. Where did the he pink get that? Yeah. Did Hank was get that him? Yeah, it was interesting yeah, but, how it was. But as well, he did say that he ran out of arrows. he ran out of the proper arrows, so he only has all those trick arrows. He's got all those trick arrows left, so unfortunately, arrows was those are cool. all that she has left to use. Yeah, yeah I noticed the last arrow. The it said PIM, PIM on the yeah, arrow. Yeah, it, it actually wrote yeah. PIM on the arrow. PIM technology is the same technology that Ant-Man used. That's right. Exactly. Kind of Which is thing. probably why it said PIM on it. And it just grew to a normal size arrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the action in this... Yeah, that was a cool this... arrow. Cool yeah. arrow, yeah. And the Christmas music. Oh, yeah, the Christmas um, yeah. music. Wasn't, the... wasn't it like the Nutcracker? The car chase yeah. scene. Oh, was yeah. it? Tchaikovsky, like was it though? Tchaikovsky, like, yeah. Oh, oh, maybe, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it was no because he, he knows classical music better. <laughs> yeah, it was practically music from the Nutcracker. Uh, yeah. I just remember it from the ballet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the action, the action was really good. Uh, oh, yeah, in this Especially one, with the yeah. car scene, it was excellent. Yeah. Yes, mm. And this it makes the point that we haven't seen this type of you know street level action um, uh, a lot, right? So this this good, does yeah. it pretty well. And it was hilarious. It was just <laughs> super, so funny. Yeah, the way she was trying the arrows, she didn't know what she was shooting. <laughs> yeah. And not only that, the communication between Hawkeye and Kate Bishop were, were practically non-existent. Yeah. yeah, so funny. Well, they were trying and yeah. said, hey, we're communicating when they thought the same thing. Yeah. Well, he's but, not Hawkeye, he's Hawk Ear. This is right ear. Barton's right ear. Couldn't, yeah, that, couldn't was a text, that was a text that she sounds <laughs> You think you're not, you're Hawkeye and not Hawk Ear. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! Block <laughs> delete. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. It was. Yeah. I really liked this episode. It's like the backstory <laughs> of Mario Lopez. Mm. Yeah. Plus the yeah, that was good. Yeah. Comedic relief mm. with the with the penny. Yeah. As, yeah. as well as the whole street fights. On this Eight level section, yeah, yep, mm-hmm. that was absolutely hilarious. And then we also had the a heartfelt moment with the kid on the phone. Kid on the phone, yeah, his son on the phone. The yeah. That was that was partially heartbreaking. It was, yeah, with Nathaniel, just definitely sad. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it's there. a it's a good blend of of all these elements. Yeah, on target. Yeah. This one's on target. Yeah. And considering that it's like 35 minutes instead of like last week's 45 minute double episodes in some way. Yeah. They packed in quite a lot. Yeah, there's a mm. lot in this. So it was a good use of that yeah. time. Like yeah. it didn't feel too rushed. Mm. Um, yeah. Definitely action packed. Yeah. Apparently, way, uh, I, apparently I, there's also clues about Kingpin mm. in the flashback. Oh, yeah. So, Right. Intriguing as well. So meaning that Daredevil. But actually, will it be Vincent D'Onofrio? Yeah, would it be him again? Like as Kingpin? Like I wonder who they were referring to. Um you yeah, know, the like, guy higher uncle? up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uncle. I don't know whether that uncle is Kingpin. Yeah. Well, in the comics he kind of is. Yeah, I think in the comics it is. Yeah. But yeah, see, in the Marvel comics, there's a connection the Kingpin and Wilson Fist took care of her after her father's murder. Sending her yeah. to expensive schools and using her as a tool in his empire. Mm. <clears throat> and also we saw Ronin in the in the flashback, right? When mm. when she was But in the mm-hmm. comics as well, Maya Lopez's echo was also at one point Ronin. Oh, uh, okay, yes. That's interesting. Mm. So I think she will eventually find out what's going on with the with what happened because in the comics mm-hmm. the kingpin kind of manipulated her so mm-hmm. she followed the orders but right. she eventually she eventually turned against them and become became one of the new Avengers. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we'll see what happens. Right. 
But it's kind of interesting that we see her in this way, like starting off as the street gangs mm-hmm. at the moment with her. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. That's why right. this feels a little bit more like the Netflix shows. It's, it's, it's kind of street level kind of yeah. hero, you know what I mean? Mm. As opposed to the intergalactic yeah, threats that the Avengers not, face. This is yeah, more street down level. to the yeah. yeah, like it's yeah, they're devil. Right? It's street level. Yeah, it's very... and and as well, not really superpowers either. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Echo does cool. have. Well, Echo is deaf, so she, maybe her other senses are heightened. You know. Well, or, she does yeah, have a similar skill. ability to to Taskmaster. Okay. I was about it, to say her skill is like very similar to Taskmaster. It reminds me of yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, because you could see how people fight, and you could. She could practically it copy it, it and pretty much straight away, right? So, yeah, practically. That's a really special skill. Yeah. So it's like a better taskmaster in a way. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of uh, Easter oh, eggs. Yeah. So, you know, echoes. What's this reference for shadows of like Capoeira reference? Oh, uh, yeah. A young echo struggling mm-hmm. to care of the teacher and not using ASL to communicate. Mm-hmm. He said, This year I want to learn how to play Capoeira, which is a Brazilian fighting dance hybrid that Tekken fans remember as the distinctive fighting style of Eddie Gordo. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of an interesting <laughs> link to a game series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting. Tekken. Tekken fans would know it. Mm. Yep. I'm yeah. not really a Tekken fan, it. so I did not really know that. Yeah, I recognize it. And did you notice in her exam, exam the mayor's exam when she was a kid, she wrote Capoeira on the, yeah. the test. Yeah, yeah. to learn how to play Capoeira. Uh, Capoeira. Cool. Capoeira. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw that, but I didn't really know what it meant. Okay. Now you know. <laughs> now I know. Uh, like, when you... If, when you look at the way that she fights, it's there. Yeah, she did learn it. <laughs> yeah. And there's a reference to Shang-Chi, apparently. Dragons. Uh, dragons. Oh, really? Oh. Because they oh, talk the about dragon. dragons. Oh, the dra- little dragon. Uh, the whole... Dragons yeah. live in a different world. Yeah, but Tiosi said that they might not exist, so he doesn't exactly know. Uh, but now we know that dragons exist in the MCU because of Shang-Chi. Yeah. But it made me think of, you know, the fact that he was talking about dragons, you know, because um, Shang-Chi's father was also somewhat involved in some criminal stuff, you know. Yeah. Like, so it's like the yeah, criminal yeah. in the world. Did, did he have a link to the Yakuza, perhaps, you know, yeah. and that's how he might have heard of it. Maybe. Well, he would remember a tracksuit mafia probably isn't versed in the ancient law of Talo. Probably not. <laughs> Not, yeah. But maybe Plus, you're the right, tracksuit yeah. mafia was tracksuit mafia, like they were known. The Ten Rings was supposed to be unknown uh-huh. or in the shadows. Shadows, yeah. Yeah, in the shadows. Who else? What's this? Owl toy. Is it owl toy? A toy owl is probably a place. Oh, okay. Just just uh, kind of like toy in the background. Okay. Oh, the owl. Is the that owl another, is another, another villain. Kingpin? With, uh, mm. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Ties to Kingpin. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. So, it seems to be, I don't know, some Daredevil references, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, we'll not. see if it actually does come in. Yeah. Because some... they're teasing, but... The kingpin might come back. Like Vincent D'Onofrio's Twitter, if you saw it recently. Oh, I hope. It, I hope. The, I hope it's true. I hope this is not just like a red herring. Yeah, yeah. imagine like, if like yeah. what uh, imagine if Charlie Cox shows yeah. up. In Vincent the... D'Onofrio took a picture <laughs> at like the Disney Studios resort in front of like a humongous Christmas tree. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So people think that might be a link to him going into the Hawkeye show. Okay. And if that's the case, that means Daredevil oh, can be far behind too. Yeah, I hope. I hope yeah. they are definitely. Yeah. And Daredevil, as well, there is some rumors that he might be in Spider Man Nowhere Home. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. Possibly, yeah. He made an appearance, yeah. And then there's, okay, the comic book powers during the flashback. Hmm. Yeah. Copying movements, just as you say, a bit like Testmaster. Able to copy movements precisely after only a single glimpse. Yeah, <clears throat> but this is, I say, not the same echo as in the comics. Yeah, because they made her an amputee and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But it's this, well, it's the echo, right? It's uh, it's echo on the as echo, echo as based yeah. on the comic book echo, but echo this is a echo. new different story, the MCU's version of it. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo, here you go. Vincent Kingpin in the MCU. Because he's an uncle, right? Oh, yeah. Even in the flashback, it says, and we see this hand. But whose hand is it? Mm. A giant hand. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big hand. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Uh, so yes uh, true master buying behind the tracksuit mafia mm. mm -hmm. could be could be yeah. his love is very reminiscent too of kingpin in the, the uncle's uh, laugh mm. and as you said already he's long rumored, been rumored to be making a Hawkeye appearance. <clears throat> so we may see him in the next uh, couple of episodes. Mm. Who's Fat Man? And even Fat Man is another Kingpin Easter egg. See this Fat Man here? Mm. And the because yeah. the Kingpin is meant to be like really big and kind big of and, 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 and yeah. Well, okay. Kingpin. Mm. Fat Man also repair. Kingpin isn't known for his slender frame. <laughs> yeah, like if you saw the Kingpin in like uh, Daredevil. into the Spider Verse as well, oh, okay. how big was the, How big was the Kingpin? Really Huge, big. Man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess he is supposed to be large. But yeah. considering that No Way Home is about the whole multiverse, it makes sense that he will pop up. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. may pop up because of Spider Verse as well. Okay. Because Sony wants to bridge their properties with the MCU now, apparently. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I think that's a good idea. I, I don't mind that, that they're going to mix. Yeah. And also, not just it Sony. Is, it is possible. So there'd be like a lot of ideas of what might come next. Mm. Yeah. So not just Sony, but Netflix's own um, mm. corner of the Marvel Universe. Yeah, but then Sony also owns oh. a female version of Doc Ock played by Catherine Hahn. Okay. Oh, okay. She played that part in Into the Spider Verse. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> but now that she's got you know the Agatha Harkness role, uh, I mean, I don't know how likely it is that she'll come back. Probably as... not. Yeah. Yeah. But you never know. It's a multiverse, so. Mm. They could be, possibly. Yeah. Because if they could get, like, the other Spider-Man, like, Alfred Molina definitely says that mm -hmm. Tom Holland's Spider-Man was not Peter Parker. So yeah. it's a different face. Yeah, so, oh, who are you? Who's this one, right? Who's this he, guy? He, he, <laughs> like, expecting <clears throat> somebody else. <laughs> you know, he's yeah. expecting his version of, of Spider-Man. Exactly. So... It is possible that we might get a female Doc Ock in the future <laughs> who is played by Catherine Hahn. Yeah. It, now that the multiverse has opened up, anything is possible, really. Yeah. Just, well, that's not a confirmation or anything. That's just like what I eventually want to see. Yeah. Because I do like her take on Doc Ock in Spider Verse. Yeah. Like Widow Kill the Ronin, right? Not, not really, but not I think really. He meant it metaphorically. <laughs> oh, he says he was there. That's what that's what Plain Barton said. He said I was there when it happened. Yeah. And from well, a certain point of yeah. view, he's not lying. Um, yeah. He he omitted certain things, but he wasn't he wasn't lying. No. Yeah, considering yeah. that he is Renan, he's not exactly lying because Black Widow did him all the ultimate sacrifice to 
yeah. not only cure him from the Raiden status to become back to Hawkeye. Mm. Just technically because speaking, because he got his family yeah. back. He got his family. Technically speaking, back. Black Widow did kill Ronin, and Hawkeye was present <laughs> at the time because of the noble sacrifice on Vormir. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. So yeah. yeah, I mean, she died to bring back his family essentially. So this this challenger is actually a reference to the um 1970s Hawkeye's comic books 1970s Red Dot Challenger. Oh, yeah, I'm wondering <laughs> if that if that car was actually meant to like you know a part of the comics because they they featured uh, it right. Yeah, but he didn't want to the destroy the car. <laughs> The red dog. <laughs> but then at the end, it was wrecked it got, anyway. It got yeah. wrecked anyway. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> but see, so really, but that like happens. That, that happens in the comics too. <laughs> yeah, even this car chase is ripped from from the comics. Um, the entire chase scene adapts the classic scene from Met Fractions the, run on in the comics. That, that was on the Brooklyn Bridge, was it? The Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, the bridge. Yeah. Brooklyn Bridge. Looks I don't know. like the Brooklyn Bridge. Mm, well, they're know. in New York. Still, they're in New York, so... right? Yeah. New York yeah. Okay. Yeah. It... Yeah. Well, the locations are set in New York. Um... So all these, the you know, the use of trick arrows, right? That's trait from the, from this, oh, yeah, the this comic arrows. book too, using trick arrows. <clears throat> pretty cool arrows. Yeah. So that's pretty. Cool. And the plunger arrow. Oh, the plunger arrow. What did that do? Plunger. Which one's that one? Plunger arrow. Just stuck on, on the wind the, on the windscreen. Hang on to the legend. Oh, the purple one? No. No, not the purple one. Oh, not that one. Though. No, oh, the, the, one. Ex, the actual arrow that was just a plunger. Oh, yeah, it's just okay. plunger. Did nothing. Let them hang on to the, the train. Oh. Yeah, well, he took the arrow back and stuck it onto the train. Oh, yeah. Just, oh now you understand why. Yeah. <laughs> now you understand the. Oh, the that's, a use, that's a use for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, because, yeah because, because she said that was useless. And just, oh, yeah. Now I understand it. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad but, they kept the same. But the, the USB error, what the heck? What's yeah. the USB error? I didn't use that for. <laughs> it did nothing. Well, you try to shoot it in the USB port, maybe. <laughs> no, he, she shot at the person, but it did nothing. Didn't do anything, yeah. But she actually also called it the USB error. It's just like, what would this do? Nothing. Well, there's all there's all these ones. See, putty, cable, smoke, oh, suction, and acid. Yeah. Yeah, the putty oh, error. The putty one. Yeah, that was cool. That was what's funny. The that, oh, yeah, the it was the purple one, one, the purple which, one. which Kate Bishop called the Play-Doh error, and <laughs> Play-Doh used, error. used the putty Play-Doh. error to that aim at the, at at the wheels, but she already shot us. I'm sure there's a windscreen, yeah. And then there's the cable, cable arrow. The cable one. Yeah, the that one that one. grabbed the, the one gra- that grabbed all the, all the traffic lights. Trees. That was useful. Yeah. All the yeah. trees. That that the cable arrow is the tree one. But is that actually oh, yeah. the actual name? So it's like, what the heck is that one called? Well, it's just called cable arrow. Yeah. Yeah. So it let's on to the Christmas trees within the five meter radius. Um, yeah, but what if it had a different name? Like, even well, he didn't answer what it was called because Kate Bishop just like, what the heck is that? This one called? Yeah, there's no label on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he doesn't la- yeah, he doesn't label any of the errors. Yeah. <laughs> the only yeah. one that was labeled was the PIM error. Yeah, oh, oh, PIM, PIM yeah. error was the one. In green, yeah. in green uh, writing. Yeah, as it errors went down the. Yeah, this one. See. Oh, there it is. It's labeled. P- PYM, is it? PYM, PIM, Hang PIM, yeah. Hang PIM, PIM Technologies. Because oh, the seal of Ant-Man, just Pim like it's fellow Avenger, this means Ant-Man. Hawkeye Ant-Man. can grow oh, Ant-Man. objects by shooting them. And presumably Ant-Man. shrink them if he wants to. <laughs> In this case, yeah. he made them bigger. Yeah, he made it so big and it just completely crushed the truck. Oh, crushed the car, yeah, the back of the car. But he had to, he had to hit the arrow to, to, to the girl's arrow. Yes. Right? He had to, oh, to make fire the arrow with his arrow. He yeah. had a hit a great shot right right on the arrow. Oh, yeah. Yep. Wow. This that is was a, a see this this what they, they did the pose. Yeah, <laughs> the 
Suppose in the Avengers movie. <laughs> but both of them uh, did it. But both of them did, yeah. Yeah, Kate uh, yeah. Bishop did it too, yeah. Uh, so if you remember in Black Widow, that? right? Yelena, uh, Yelena kept, kept teasing. Uh, she oh, didn't, yeah. she yeah, didn't the like yeah. the she didn't like that move. It's like oh, disgusting pose. Oh, yeah, yeah the, a, the Black Widow, the wet Black Widow poser thing. <laughs> yeah, Elena goes, "Oh, you're always a poser." <laughs> so maybe uh, Kate Bishop would say the same thing about Hawkeye. Oh, he's such well, a poser. Well, she <laughs> absolutely loved it, so she just like went with. Her. Yeah, I think the difference is is uh, Kate Bishop is a is a fan girl, so. Yeah, she's practically bad girls. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You, oh, yeah, okay. USB, USB arrow. Mm. They were used in the Avengers. I knew they were used in the Avengers, but it That's did right. nothing. In Not, nothing here, yeah. Oh. So in the Avengers, uh, we had it was... One now, I remember. Well, it was used to, to take hack down into the... Harry the Carrier. The Ultron Carrier. Yeah. Yeah, the virus, yeah, in what if as well, yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. And the grappling arrow was used uh, during the Battle of New York. Um, yep, which we did see in the first episode as well. Yeah, yeah, flashback, yeah. That was in the flashback. Oh, we saw this uh, again. Yeah, yeah, this again. Oh, the music again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those are that, like everywhere. The like, <laughs> what the heck, it's everywhere. Must be a famous musical. <laughs> Maybe they're making one. Maybe. <laughs> well, they want to make a real life one. one soon. They want to make a real life one. <laughs> it's not confirmed, yes, but <laughs> it's on the it's on the cards. That'd be cool. Oh, actually, this is this is a good point. Like, cause bling and you miss, but if you look closely, oh, Hawkeye yeah. is tiny. <laughs> Hawkeye is. <isn't it? laughs> it's a fun sure. bonus detail. Not how Hawkeye is hilariously tiny and shoved to the side. <laughs> well, he has no powers, but it's he's the one of the few well, who Black doesn't Widow have has any no powers. powers too, but then Black Widow is, isn't in this. She is that? No, okay. That's I not... think that might be Black Widow. That's mm. This one. Next to Steve. Yeah. Yeah. But Teddy Stark is a double tap. Yeah, Tony Stark has no powers either. But he also has that crazy suit. Yeah. And also, he's rich, so that's his superpower like Batman. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Cat Bishop draws Hawkeye's classic costume. Oh, I recognize that from the thing. Yeah. It just looks even worse than. <laughs> <clears throat> and he wants in the drawing. Uh, she wants him to have a H on on his head. Yep. <laughs> oh, for Hawkeye. Complete with wing eye mask and H on the forehead. Yeah, like in the comics, but. This is suggests that he, that Jeremy Renner will never wear the traditional costume. In the MCU, yeah. <laughs> well, the same. Well, effectively, the whole one division thing cap happened as well. Yeah, but the thing is, like in one of these, she did wear the, yeah, the thing did. for a Halloween thing. She did. She so maybe, wore that classic yeah. Scarlet Witch costume. So maybe that's a joke. Thing but but it well. has to be for something like a cosplay, or you know, like yeah, potentially. You put it on. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> but I did. His actual character doesn't want to do it. Yeah. What's this, Kate and oh, okay, Kate and Kazi, the hot guy, the hot guy <laughs> who spoke sign language. Kate Bishop refers to Kazi as the hot guy. No, oh wow! In the comics. Uh, oh, no, okay. She and Kazi like, did actually have a thing for each other. <laughs> no, <comments>. Okay. <clears throat> so it's... does that mean that they might become good? Ooh, I don't know. It is possible because Kazi and <laughs> and Echo seems to be quite close. Yeah. And we kind of know that Echo will eventually turn good. Mm. And that's our TV show. Yeah. Maybe they revealed a TV show too early. Yeah, they probably should have um, left that announcement a little bit later. I think. Yeah, probably. So everyone has assumptions of what happens to the character already now because of the yeah. known spin off show. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, Sloan. Who's Sloan? Sloan Limited. Sloan Limited. Limited, yeah. Oh. That was the thing that they would say at the end. Kazi is registered as an employee of Sloan. And okay. So Billy Sloan is one of Kingpin's henchmen. So again, yeah. another Kingpin reference. Yeah. So it possibly is mean that the Kingpin is coming. Yeah. And he's gonna be the head of everything behind everything. And, and Bill just put in some dates. Uh, will they become a real couple? Yeah. Who like Kazi and Kazi and Echo or Kazi and No, no, I was talking about Kazi and Kate, Kate Bishop. No, Kazi, because yeah. I think Kazi and uh, Echo are related, aren't they? I thought they were brother and sister. No. The, yeah, or I think so. It? Or maybe Kazi. so. Maybe, maybe we don't know. Possibly. Mm. Yeah. They look more if like it a... happened as a comics, <laughs> then it is possible that they might show a bit of a relation in the show, mm. even though there's three episodes left. Yeah. Actually, the other question is the do. Uh... And then a bit more about Jack as well. Ian and Jack actually already know each other. We don't know. But well, maybe that last they do. scene, you know, um, yeah. where they meet. Exactly. Finally, the last scene, yeah. That that would be interesting. Yeah, this scene here where where yeah he pulls the sword on him. Mm -hmm. There was a brief moment where it seems like he is familiar with Hawkeye, and mm -hmm. Hawkeye knows him too. Yeah. Well, everyone knows Hawkeye. Well, yeah, everyone knows Hawkeye. Um, but I mean, I, at a person on a personal level, that's what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. but does Clint actually know Jack? Because when he was talking to when Kate Bishop was talking to Hawkeye about it. He's, he said that the whole Jack situation is weird. Yeah, so maybe he knows who he is. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, because they do know that if it is, then Hawkeye should have like pointed it out earlier and not later. Yeah, although last week we remember we talked about how Jax is actually well in the comics swordsman who mm. who has a connection to Hawkeye. Like um, maybe Clint knows him as somebody else, as, as the swordsman, swordsman, as swordsman, yeah. and not as Jack. And you know, so he didn't make that connection. Didn't know his real name. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I guess we'll find out in the next few episodes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but that's that's intriguing. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of cool still. It's like three more episodes to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. They so just before. Just in time for Christmas, really. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, the. Yeah, just in time. Is it on time... Christmas Day? Is it on Christmas Day, the final? No, maybe a bit before. No. Yeah. Oh, okay, Christmas Eve. Well, so... it releases. Two days before. It... It releases on the Wednesday, so we get oh, on the Thursday. Oh yeah, because Beyond Christmas is exactly a Saturday. Yeah, twenty fifth. Yeah. By yeah. the time we uh, watch it, it will be. Oh yeah. <laughs> By the time we watch it, it will be. But, but the, actual the last episode would be on the twenty second in the US, but twenty third for us. Yeah, it will all be Christmas Eve Eve. Christmas, yeah, well, we will be doing something else on Christmas. <laughs> yeah, um, unless we <laughs> watch on the 24th, then because we might be busy. Well, that's Christmas Eve, yeah. though. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> or maybe we could do it on Thursday because Christmas Eve, Christmas Day tends to be. Couldn't we do it on the, on the actual 23rd? We could. What? Oh, oh, on the 23rd, Thursday, which, is a, yeah. which is a Wednesday. Hey. Which is a Thursday. Oh, sorry. Oh, which is a Thursday. Oh, Thursday yeah. we, we could. On the 23rd. Thursday night, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Thursday night. Okay. The actual premiere night. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, true. If, well, if well, well effectively, available. we available. get it at approximately 10 p.m. on the Wednesday. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's just in time, because that's our usual time. Oh, exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so... 
Yeah. That's like right. a, a premiere. <laughs> so we would be able to <laughs> do it on premiere. the 23rd. That's cool. Man. No, the only issue on the is Thursday. the only issue is we won't have any Easter eggs to look at. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. you won't yeah. have time to because Easter I don't have time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but effectively, we don't need those Easter eggs. We could just try to point it out ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we don't need to, but it's not complete. Yeah, more fun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we will never pick out those eggs. those little ones. Yeah, unless... but sometimes doing a better review is like not looking at other people's reviews. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I actually, agree with that. That's true. That's something. Because if we're looking at everyone else's like points, although, stuff, although it, it, it doesn't look... really become ours. It's still yeah, like yeah. we're following off what they are saying. But we're not actually reviewing it though. We are just talking about it. We we mm -hmm. really only give the score at the end, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, but discussion. in a way, we're still like reviewing it as well. We, we yeah. can still in give our, our own first, you know, original first impressions. Yeah, first yeah. impressions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do it on the Thursday. Though. That would be more fun. Mm -hmm. Plus, plus, if we do right. watch it on Thursday, mm -hmm. it would still be out in the US for several hours before we watch it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, and there might be something out already. Okay. Yeah, so there will probably be something. There might be some you you oh, might oh. be able to see something already. Yeah, no, they're, exactly. they're, they're fairly quick. Yeah, they're fairly quick. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a few hours to write this yeah. article. So. Yeah. Because okay. if, if the episode releases at 10 p.m. at night on the Wednesday, it will yeah. still be about a day before we watch <laughs> it. Mm. Yeah. That's a good idea. What a day to write it. Suggestion. Yeah. yeah, so we watch it on the Thursday. It comes out on the Wednesday at 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah. We watch it on Thursday at 10 p.m. Still about a day. Still so about, they'll likely about mm, there would likely hours. be some stuff already yeah. out. A, yeah. a day is long enough for people to get articles out. If exactly. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. If they're on top of things, yeah. Apparently, uh, uh, next, next week's <laughs> trailer is out, and and potentially, oh yeah, the trailer Elena back. could be back. Elena Belova. Oh. Mm. She made a surprise appearance. Yeah. Because in the at the end of Black Widow, didn't uh Madam Hydra kind of recruit yeah. her or something to Madam to Hydra. track down oh uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. So she was trying to find him. So that's probably the link. You know, yep. finale, maybe. That yeah, will be cool. Yeah. Ties it into Black Widow. Yep, everything is connected. Yeah, yeah. It's Marvel. Everything. Is apparently, the the head writer uh begged Marvel to include include her in the show. <laughs> oh, I, I hope that they got their way. <laughs> yeah, so maybe it makes sense. Maybe to they connect did. Elena to this. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Right? Black Widow's post credit scenes mm -hmm. came from Marvel, and it actually came in response. Yeah, for you know, to 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 have Yelena appear in uh, more stuff. Mm. That's why they added that scene at the yeah, end. Yeah, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we give our scores? All right, let's give our okay. scores. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, Marcus, you want to go first? Yeah, I'll give this a solid eight. So yeah. a, a, a very, oh, okay. a very good mix of everything: action, humor, even quiet moments. Mm -hmm. And as I, as we were saying before, I like the, the street level feel of this show, as, mm -hmm. which yeah. makes it different from the other Marvel shows. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. this feels more to me like a Netflix, mm -hmm. Daredevil kind of show than. Than the ones that we've seen, which mm. you know, I, I really enjoyed the next show. So, mm. so this one, yeah, I like it in that in that way as well. So, mm. so yeah. eight eight for me. Wow. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I'd give it a seven. Seven. Okay. Oh, that's pretty high score. Yeah. yeah, which is kind of a high score for me, mm -hmm. but I do like how they fit everything together, even though it was kind of a shorter episode. Mm. I guess maybe it's one of the few episodes which I hope would be a bit longer. Yeah. Because it was just that interesting. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you wanted it, it to keep but going. that wasn't but that isn't the reason why it would lose points. And I do like how they kept it still in theme, even with like the whole nutcracker music in the yeah, Christmas in theme. the street car chase and all that. The Christmas trees. They they kept it in theme. Yeah. And it was just comical, sad at points. Overall, a solid episode. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'll give it 7.5. Yeah, it's a good, really good episode. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, same. I think just like um, you guys said, it's a good mix of um, a mix of humor and great action scenes. Mm. Uh, good straight level action. And yeah, I like the conversation between the Russian thug and um, Kate about the imagined dragon <laughs> ticket. <laughs> and, uh, that was funny. That was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. yeah, that was kind of unneeded, but hilarious. Oh, you mean when he was action. asking for advice? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, kind of yeah. unneeded by the wife is wife. A completely random, but absolute hilarious moment. I know. Yeah, and also the the origin, a bit of origin about um Maya Lopez. That was good. And um, oh, yeah, I think it could be one of my favorite episodes. I think, give it an eight. Yeah. Hey. Oh wow. Eight. eight. That's high. Very high. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it. Yeah. I'll probably give it around seven. I think. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it overall. Um, yeah, interesting bits and the arrows were quite <laughs> interesting. Uh, different arrows. Yeah. Oh yeah, the trick arrows were fun. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's fun, fun, sure, yeah. fun touch. So cool. So. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. But the what are the other four arrows that we don't see? <laughs> what was the most dangerous one that she didn't use? You know. Yeah, because there were oh, four more errors, that. more dangerous. Oh, yeah. You didn't use them. Yeah. You didn't get to use, use them yet. Them. Yeah. So we'll probably mm -hmm. see them in action maybe in Next the episode. future ones. Later episodes, probably. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And Kate Bishop specifically said that there were four more that are more dangerous than the one that she used. Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting thing. So Jeff's is a seven. Mm. Benny? Nope. Uh, uh, Bernie, I think, gave his score. Yeah, Bernie gave mine. Yeah. He said it was oh, yeah. eight. No, yeah. then Bill. Bi Bill. Um, you want to Bill? Yes. Really? Yeah. You yeah. can just chuck it in the chat. In chat. Type it in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Text type it in the chat. chat if you find it hard to um, speak through the mask. A five or seven? Oh, five because or seven. you were in and out because of the meds. Yeah. So if it's a five or seven, then 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 maybe it's you take the average. Let's it's take the six. average and make it a six. Then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just do the Once average. Five, five or seven. Okay. Well, actually, Bill put something, yeah, put something in the there. chat about who's becoming a real couple. Oh, oh it's I yeah. We it's talked about one. that. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, those two. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> the Kelsey with Kate thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So that go. We got through it. And uh, who else has them? Steph, yeah. Uh, Jane? James? Yeah, my mine was 7.5. 7.5, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. James is gone already. James jumped off already. James had to jump off because his internet fell out. So um, dropped out. Yeah. Actually, IG, IGN says it's on target, which is like a pretty nice pun uh, on target. Yeah. And also an eight. Uh, best Hawkeye's best elements shine in this episode. Mm. Uh, yeah, it really shows that he could fight even without powers. Mm. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> yeah. With no powers. Mm. Yep, then I think that's it. Do we have much else to say? Yeah, we'll um, look forward to the next episode. <laughs> yeah. The, the confrontation between Clint and... I, and I guess the other thing I'm excited about is obviously the the p possibility of, of having having Kingpin yeah. back, right? Vincent D'Onofrio. And why, why, why couldn't they recast? Well, there must be a reason why they couldn't just recast him if it really is Kingpin coming oh, into the MCU. Yeah. <clears throat> well... I mean, Do they have to recast? I think it's 
it's better to be consistent and ra rather than recast, you know. <laughs> well, they did have to if they want to try to make the Netflix. Yeah, yeah. So that's exactly exactly the point, right? But I mean, if they couldn't get that to happen, then they probably would have to recast, right? But mm. if 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 they are moving in that direction, then yeah. Then maybe because, yeah. Netflix shares will become canon. Because yeah, so, at the moment, they're not at the moment, part of no, the FCU yeah. canon at all. So Marvel's Netflix show don't seem to be MCU canon, but the concept of the multiverse made it seem possible for Kingpin to exist somewhere in its universe. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. And as, as Jono pointed out, right, Charlie Cox's Daredevil making an appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home also gives further credence to this idea that you know, Dinofrio would could play the kingpin again. Mm. <clears throat> so that's uh definitely exciting. Cause cause yeah, like he's it's hard to recast also because Vincent, yeah, he's he's really great as a kingpin already. Yeah. <laughs> so people are always gonna be comparing him with any other, you know, actor. Yeah. Mm. If you I mean, recast, if people already like him, why recast? You know, <laughs> like, and if he's available, and you know. and considering that Vincent D'Onofrio has been posting a bunch of Oso Hawkeye mm. on his Twitter account, that yeah. is a possibility as well. Yeah. yeah, like he takes a picture of himself in front of a Christmas tree, and <laughs> he it's actually so retweeted the Marvel Studios. A Hawkeye trailer on his Twitter, so yeah, okay. Mm. So he's definitely teasing it. <laughs> he's definitely teasing it. <laughs> we didn't really see him in it yet, but he's definitely teasing it. Yeah, so he knows something. Mm. Oh yeah, so that Twitter post, I think I have it. Actually, no, I don't. Selfie photo and details. Is this the one? Uh... Oh, this yeah. one, eh? Yeah, that one in front of the Christmas tree. The actor is standing in front of the Christmas tree on Main Street. He's <laughs> <laughs> teasing the return of King Pin. Because, yeah, so Hawkeye is a Christmas show. <laughs> Yeah, he's absolutely teasing it. Yeah. And if are you on his no, not that's not his actual Twitter. Huh? Yeah. What else does he have on Twitter right near? Oh, he's in as he is in NSW. Rush right. Cutter's Bay. Interesting. Vincent D'Onofrio is in Australia. Oh, oh, oh he's here. Oh. He's here. Interesting. Why is yeah. he here? What is he currently doing at the moment? What, what is well, he at the moment, he's been taking pictures and stuff. Uh, Rush Cutter's Bay, oh, Rush New, Cutter South, Bay. Oh. New South Wales. Stormy Day on Elizabeth Bay. <laughs> okay. Wow! Wow! So interesting that he's here. What, what is he filming here, though? Like, what? What is? Did he say anything at all? I'm honest yeah, about that. Here. No idea. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, he did post the uh, yeah he did post the Hawkeye series on his Twitter as well. On November the eighteenth. Mm. Yeah, I'll sh just share my screen here. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. you can see. This is going to be fun. Okay. Yeah, so this is his actual Twitter. Oh, okay. Cool. And he does yeah. actually post a bunch of stuff. He's quite active. I mm -hmm. okay. I kind of follow him on Twitter, but this is currently locked out. So yeah, fine. And yeah, let's see what else he does. 
Oh, yeah, the rush cut is Bay Elizabeth Bay one is up here because that's the more recent ones. Oh, yeah, that's that's the Twitter one. The echo fader in front of the tree. Bit of a tease. Stormy day on Elizabeth Bay, Sydney. Okay. And this is his most recent one, 11 hours ago, walking along Rushcutters Bay, New South Wales. Mm. Hashtag no fear, no greed, no envy. Mm. He's quite a good actor. I like him. Mm. So if he comes back as Kingpin, that would be awesome. That would yeah. be awesome. Oh, yeah. And 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 this also, right? You mentioned Dead Ever in Spider Man No Way Home. Because Charlie Cox himself also tweeted uh Seth oh. Dead Ever about being in it. Uh yeah. So and now with you know the possibility of Kingpin mm. in Hawkeye, so so yeah. Who knows? We we may see what what if Charlie Cox actually shows up as Daredevil in Hawkeye. <laughs> that, that would be interesting. <laughs> at the end, or maybe in the finale. Oh, yeah. If there's yeah. a Kingpin connection, then there's a Daredevil connection. So yeah. So who knows? They they bring yeah, the Netflix cool. shows into canon in some way. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, including Agents of Shield, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, so there's a. Oh, this is cool. So a fan did a poster that incorporates Kingpin. Kingpin in in the poster. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that's still fan work, not. Yeah. Yeah. I, so this a fan. It's uh, fan art. Fan, 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 nice. fan art. It's very nicely done, though. I think it's done. It's nice, though. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't know what's actually proper yet because it hasn't been fully confirmed. It's just that we're getting a lot of teasers. Yeah, but the fact that they're teasing it is pretty much confirmation already. <laughs> is it? Why would they it... tease it if 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 they're not gonna follow through? Uh, unless it's the whole vision thing again. Wait, oh yeah, but that's different. Wait, right? That was a complete tease, and nothing came out. Because there was the actor himself who was trolling, but in this case, yeah, that Marvel was a troll. is actually teasing. Okay, it's different if it's the official Marvel. So yeah. is it teasing, or yeah. are they trolling? The official. Teasing. Because it's the same people who won't admit that the other Spider-Man are in New no Way Home. Mm. So is it a troll or are they actually teasing? They want it, mean. I think it was an official teaser from, say, a director. Maybe it's more credible. But um... Yeah. If it's from Marvel, like, official representative, then... That's... Maybe. Unless it's, like, Taika Waititi, he tr completely trolls everyone on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he... Uh, Taika Waititi trolled everyone with a fake script of Love and Thunder saying okay. that Iron Man comes back. Oh, oh no. okay. Yeah, it was actually on his Twitter and Instagram, but That's it was hilarious. Cool joke. Like, um, okay. I guess with, with and we, but we joke. know that Taika Waititi <laughs> is a complete troll. Yeah, he's yeah. a nice boy's jokes, pranks. And stuff. Yeah, he, he, it's just a prank if it's from him, but I think yeah. if it's from a producer or something. Um, he was so a director. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But who knows? Yeah, who knows? It, it could either be a complete troll or it's, it's actually a good tease. <laughs> it's actually a good tease. Mm -hmm. I guess we won't really know until it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I think my money is on. No, very, very, very likely. Highly likely. Highly likely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd, I'd still say likely, but I won't get my apes up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So we'll just have to wait and see uh -huh. if it was a troll or a tease. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. 
Yep. All right. Ooh, yeah. All right. Already done. Yeah, what we can now. <laughs>